how to enable GPU tuner on your POCO X3 Pro running MIUI 13, MIUI 12.5, MIUI 12 based on Android 10, based on Android 11, based on Android 12 without having to root it and without having access to a computer. So here it is, I do have the POCO X3 Pro which right now is running MIUI 13 based on Android 12. However, the process is going to work even if you are on MIUI 12, MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11. Let us first go ahead and open the Game Turbo application and you will notice that I do not have the option for GPU settings. Next up, we can go back to our home screen and then we need an application called fx file manager now why are we using this specific application we are using this because this lets us unzip files and open text files at the same time and also lets us install apks if you have any other file manager which lets you do all these things feel free to use it so here we are main page of fx file manager we will go into main storage let me change the view to list view and then we can head over to the download folder because this is where all the files are downloaded now here and we have a file called gpu underscore tuner dot zip so we need to press and hold on it make sure it is highlighted and selected then three dot menu on the top right and then we are going to select open with here and we are going to say archive extractor then three dot menu on the top right one more time and we're going to say extract here this is going to extract the contents of this file and now we have a folder with the same name ignore the mac os x folder now what we need to do next is install these two applications so we need to install the set edit application and of course you will need to let fx file manager install apks on your device you do have a big danger warning from miui make sure this option is checked and then select ok and then we are going to install this application now once that is done we can go back and the next thing we need to do is install ladb now once both the applications have been installed successfully we can bring them over to our home screen just to make our life easier so we need to open the set edit application it will give you a warning and accept all the things it is asking for then if you go into this device make sure it is this device on the left and then on the right you need to go into global table now once you are in global table you need to scroll down and herein you need to look for a setting called gpu tuner switch tap on this right now it is set as false we are going to say edit value now this is where ladb comes into the picture we need to give it this specific permission because it is not allowed to write your secure settings so what do you do next you will go into settings then you will go into about phone then you will go into all specs miui version tap on this seven times you will get a toast notification that you are now a developer then we can go back once we have gone back we will go into additional settings here and you will see an option for developer options select this option scroll down and then you will see something called usb debugging and wireless debugging so first of all we need to enable this wireless debugging wireless debugging select this enable this toggle you will get another pop-up on the bottom select ok then we can go back but you will notice something by default super secure miui disabled it so we need to be persistent we will enable it make sure this toggle is enabled then we can go back enable the usb debugging you will get another wall of text with a warning from the super secure mame ui as i prefer to call it i am aware of the possible risks and then select ok then go to your home screen open l adb it is going to ask you for pairing information right open your recents here and what you need to do is you need to press and hold on this settings window where we have the usb debugging and here in tap this option and then we need to select the next application which is our ladb so now you have ladb on the bottom and your wireless debugging options on the top go into wireless debugging here in we are going to say pair device with pairing code so this is our pairing code and the thing after the colon is your port number so we need to enter these details over here so let us try to see if we can get the keyboard here is the keyboard and our port number is 412 
37. So we are going to enter that 41237. Then the pairing code is 933773. So we're going to enter 933773. And then we are going to say OK. And then you need to wait for some time. And you can see we got successfully paired to local host at this point we can get rid of this split screen go into l adb now the command i use is i type in get enforce and this should give me my se linux status press the enter key there it is you can see i got enforcing what if you do not get it to work but you got success what you need to do is go ahead and kill all the applications open ladb one more time it will wait for the adb client it will take some time maybe like five or ten seconds and you should get a notification that wireless debugging has been connected there it is you see i got the notification wireless debugging connected and success and if i type in get enforce over here one more time there it is enforcing now we need to execute the command to give set edit the permissions it needs so we will go back into fx file manager main storage download gpu tuner folder and here is the file so tap on this command dot txt and we are going to tap on the pencil icon on the top which is our edit now you can select everything so i will say select all and then i will say copy and then the next thing we need to do is we will go back into ladb and herein we are going to say paste now make sure you have gotten the whole command which is pm space grant space whatever the name of the application is and then the permission now this command is mentioned in the description of the video as well and then the next thing we need to do is press the check mark on the keyboard now as you can see we are getting an error about some security exception and that is because this is again super secure MAME UI. So what you need to do is you need to enable another toggle you will have to go into settings additional settings developer options scroll down make sure this toggle of USB debugging security settings is also enabled and this will require you to have signed into your me account have a sim card inserted into your device it will give you three warnings because me UI thinks you are are a small five-year-old kid who doesn't know what he is doing anyways we will go back into our ladb and here and we will paste the command again tap on the check mark and wait for it to find the client and the device because the shell was dead all right so we are back in ladb let us paste the command one more time and press the enter key and as you can see we got no error message which means everything was done without any issues now we can go back to our set edit application and we can try to edit the global table so we will go into the global table and herein we are going to look for the gpu tuner switch so here it is gpu tuner switch let us go ahead and edit it this time we did not get any error message we are going to change this to true save the changes and there it is you can see gpu tuner is now true let us now open our game turbo application one more time and bam there it is you can see at the bottom we have this arrow tap on this here it is gpu settings in the building working like a boss now there might be a situation wherein you might not get this option what do you do then well in that case you will have to clear the settings for the security application so go into the application info here and select clear all data and on the next pop-up select ok and then you should be good to go and there it is peeps that is how you enable gpu tuner on your poco x3 pro without having to root it and without a computer and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you